guys hope you're doing well so this is a video that I'm very excited about because it's one of my favorite videos to watch but it's also very specific and it's a series of videos so this is basically gonna be my travel series edition so if you want to be like Spark on say how she goes to the airport this is what I do this is what I carry this is how I pack um, I tried to be as minimal as I can, as efficient as I can. I am definitely one who goes to the airport and dresses up. And I don't mean heels or anything, but I like to look smart in the airport. I think it's probably one of my favorite parts of the holiday is getting ready and deciding what to wear to the airport. Some people, like my sister, can just look effortless with sweat and she looks so glamorous and she doesn't even think twice, you know, I'll, you know, maybe the day before a little bit, but me, I am the complete opposite. I have like a whole week in advance planned of what shoes, what I'm going to take. I've packed already. I'm so excited. And I just love that glamour feeling by being like a little bit more dressed up. But I like to be comfortable too. So if you want to be a little bit more, I don't know, um, you just want to change up your routine or you want to look a little bit more glammed up at the airport but still look effortless, follow my video. So, so, so. Um, what should I say? I, I guess I'll talk about what I'm wearing. Um, it's kind of what I would wear to the airport, but not. So I'd probably just leave my hair down, actually, because I'd probably wa wash it that day. So depending on what flight or where I'm going to, I want my hair to look really nice and fresh when I arrive. And I normally arrive the same day, so I just wash my hair at home and style it nicely so that when I get off the airport, if I'm visiting family or if I'm going to, you know, on holiday with my family to a hotel, I just look all nice and put together. Um, I don't want to have it up like this and then s take it down or style it later. I mean, it really depends, okay? So, um, but anyway, if I did have it up, I'd just keep it up in a simple ponytail and just put a cute headband, nothing much. Earrings, I'd keep it very minimal because I don't want to have too many stuff on because when you go through security, it's annoying. Makeup. Now, makeup, for the purpose of this video, I have makeup on. Otherwise, I would not have makeup on. The only thing I would have on is in the morning before I leave for the airport, I would put my face cream, my eye cream, neck cream, uh, a good SPF. I'd probably uh, fill in my eyebrows. I'd probably put eyeliner and mascara and a lip gloss. That's all I'm doing. And this is, I'll tell you why in a minute. And then... Uh, just a simple necklace if I feel like I need to, just some simple bracelets. I'd have my nails done that previous night so it's all nice and manicured for the flight and to go on holiday. And then in terms of clothing, the airport is very funny. I get very cold on the airplanes, so, um, but the, the destinations that I go to are very hot, so you have to kind of balance it. So I like to wear like just a simple top, a plain white t-shirt, plain blue t-shirt, grey t-shirt, any t-shirt or a blouse if you want to be really dressy but I like to just wear these simple things and then my accessories kind of glam everything up and then trousers I normally wear jeans I live in jeans all the time but uh, I wanted to give you an alternative if you uh, don't like to wear jeans at the airport you feel like they're very restricted I like to wear like cargo pants and these are the skinny types and so these are just really really good they're very loose fitting but they've still got some sort of shape and form and um, because they're skinny, they kind of look really, really nice and just a little bit more chic. And then on top, I would wear this really nice cashmere cardigan. So if I'm cold, then I have that on. And then I just wear any sort of flat or a little bit of a wedge. But I don't want to be too high because I'm, you know, like lugging a suitcase and a carry-on in my handbag and God knows what else. So I need to be, I need to be practical. So then... My bag is kind of like my carry-on too, in, if that makes sense. Like I don't, I don't really have a carry-on. I always just have, if, if I do have a carry-on, it's only because I'm with my family and I'm carrying like whatever they have. But personally, when I travel, I just have my handbag and my suitcase and that's all. Like that's how I like to, I don't want to, I hate it. If I'm going to be glamorous and whatnot, I can't have a backpack here and this handbag here and that bag there. I just want to look like, oh, it's so easy, I'm just rolling the suitcase around and with another hand, click clacking away with my handbag. That's my goal. So this is my bag and this is my summer bag too. Uh, so it's kind of like a what's in my bag and this is a Prada bag and 
I absolutely love it. Um, it's very, very big. It's very similar to my other Prada bag, if you know, but that has like a slot in the front and the back, and it's a little bit more of a softer leather. This is structured, but again, it has these little pop bits, so I could open it for convenience. And I just think it's a really great accessory. And one thing I like to do is I like to wear a lot of browns or metallics or golds. They just seem more simple to wear at the airport. They just look a bit more neutral and a little bit more sophisticated. So I have a ton of stuff. So the first thing I'll pull out is this, and this is my new iPad 2, and I wanted to show you the case that I got. It's by Stephanie Johnson. So go to stephaniejohnson.com. She has different styles of cases. And this is, I think, uh, Mumbai Coral Edition. I'm not sure if that's still on her site anymore. But this just stores my iPad because now I have one. I won't take my computer anymore. And it just looks like this. I got an orange case. And, yeah, there we go. So just simple. I have that just... I don't know, I mean, I could put it in my suitcase if I wanted to, but I'd rather keep it in my bag, and then if I need to watch anything, or if I have anything to do on here, I can while I'm waiting in the waiting lounge. And to go with that, I have the matching Stephanie Johnson little pouch, and it comes one like this and one which is flat, and I just choose this one because in this, I carry my uh, iPad charger and like this little cloth that I put a Hello Kitty sticker in, and this just uh, helps clean the screen. And this is really great because not only does it uh, purpose as a iPad charger, it can also be taken off and used as an iPhone charger for my phone. And it's very, very light and I really like it, nice and padded. And then I have my glasses case and I have Morgenthal Fredericks glasses and they look like this. And see what I mean by my accessories are kind of very bold. So um, I don't need to wear much and I keep things minimal and it has a really cute leopard um, cl a cleaning cloth. So that's that. And then um, what I love to do is, if I'm on the plane, I most likely will not be wearing socks unless I'm wearing trainers, which I never do. I just wear flats or wedges or something, so I don't have socks on, but I get cold. So I'll either take socks with me, or um, which have like those kind of like rubbery things at the end, and one of those that I can just wash away or toss away afterwards, because I like to take my shoes off in the plane, because I like to crunch up and try and sleep on the chair. Um, so it, I don't want to put my shoes on the seat, so I take my shoes off. But when I need to go to the bathroom, I don't like wearing socks. So I'll either use the airplane socks so that I can walk into the bathroom freely and then just toss them. Or what I've uh, recently discovered, which I really like, which I think a lot of you would like, are these. And I got this from Gap, and I just chose, again, a nice, simple, neutral, metallic-y, taupey brown. Um, because it will go with anything. Of course, you could buy black, and that would be just as fine. But I wanted something a bit more chic, and it uh, it is this. These flats, and these are great. I mean, they're they're called city shoes. I guess you know when you come back from work and stuff, you need you want to change your heels and you're commuting on the bus or something. You want to change to flats. These are great. But these are also I found really great for the airplane because you can put these on. You look cute, and you can go to the bathroom with no problem. And you know they serve as shoes. And if you get tired with the other shoes you've worn, you can wear these. And these are just really, really handy. And it comes in a really great pouch that you could store other things in. I just think this is a really good um, sort of airport shoe to wear. Then I have a little mask that says Dream on it. And I got this from Michaels for like a dollar. Um, but I really like this because sometimes they don't provide you an eye mask anymore. I try and sleep with eye masks now just to make me sleep better. And because, you know, if someone else has their light on or I really don't want to be disturbed, this is the best way to go. Um, I have a pack of tissues. These are by Kleenex. Very cute. And they open up and they're like on two sides. Really, really cute. I like to add the most cutest accessories, the most vibrant ones, because, again, I want to try and be like kind of luxurious. Then I have a pencil case, and here it just has a pen and a pencil, you know, when you have to fill in stuff at the airport. I have wet ones because you can't ever have enough of these. These are great to wash your hands in, to wipe down anything. Um, you just need these on an airplane, I feel. Then, of course, I have my passport case, and I love this. It's called Fly Away Wallet, and I don't have anything in here because I don't want to put my passport in here. But it holds your passport, obviously, and it's just so cute. And I kept the thing because I thought a lot of you guys would like it. And I got it from a guy on eBay. And basically, it has, like, a place for your cards here, a pen holder, a little bit for your coins. It has more space um, here and here for more cards if you need to. 
this little slot here, then it has this little booklet that I guess you could write your boarding times and connecting flights, or if you're going to a new place and you need to write down how to get from the airport to the hotel, like things like that. Um, then it has place for your passport, etc. This bit and this bit for uh, cash and whatnot. So I thought this was really cool. I bought it in the violet color just because I like pink and I just thought it was very very beautiful and very handy you can put your boarding pass in there everything is in one place and just go to eBay and then um, here I'll, I'll put it in the link below but this is what it says and I think it's from Korea but it's really fast shipping and it's on sale now so I really really highly recommend this um, I mean I wasn't paid to say that but whatever um, I also have some mints because need fresh breath um and that was stored in uh, the mints were stored in this little pocket inside here i have the main pocket well not the main pocket the zip pocket there i have my phone it says blah at the back <laughs> um i have some gum i love orbit spearmint flavor and i like spearmint more than the original mint because it's not as strong so i don't want uh to be next to someone who thinks i know this is really weird but um, how do I explain this? If I put that mint in my mouth, like the spare mint, it's a bit more subdued, a bit more softer, so it doesn't look like I purposely put uh, a chewing gum in my mouth when I'm hanging out with them because I was scared that I had bad breath. Anyway, <laughs> that's what it is. Then I have a moleskin, um, which I stuck some like stiletto heels in it. A moleskin notepad just to write down things. And then in the main compartment, nearly finished, I have my wallet. You've seen it. It's my Kate Spade wallet. Just have I wouldn't have all this stuff in here. I just have my ID um, and a credit card and some cash or the new foreign currency cash. I wouldn't have all this stuff in it. Um, then I would have my glasses. Now I bought some Chanel makeup and so I put it in a Chanel pouch but it's actually a Versace glasses because my Versace glasses has a very hard gate case. It's just kind of as big as the Morgenthal Fredericks but maybe larger and that's just too much and it's I've already got so much in here so I just keep it in here and this is what they look like. They're just plain black kind of squared and then what's really cute is they have the mirror with the crystals around it so when I come off the airplane I can wear them and then um, I have some makeup remover because you need some of that because although I have no makeup on um, I like to refresh my face uh, before I'm landing or when I've landed I go to the bathroom and I have this whole makeup routine because remember on my face I really don't have anything um, and then I have my makeup pouch and then I have like the clear liquids pouch so that's all that's in my bag so let me go through exactly what my routine is on my face so I told you in the morning before I go to the airport I'll just put my face cream on, neck cream on, eye cream on uh, the whole enchilada and then I'll put like a bit of mascara if I really feel like I need to, a lip gloss or a bright lipstick and that is it because when I get to the airport I like to use what's in here and before I board the plane you know at the waiting lounge I'll go to the bathroom and I'll put this on which is the Elemental Herbology by Biodynamic Facial Souffle, which is an intensive hydration and repair mask. And I've mentioned this before. And I love this because this is a mask that you can put on before flights because it's very drying the air there and it's a different sort of air. And I like putting this on because you don't have to wash it off. So I'll apply it. Uh, so I'll use this makeup uh, wipes to just remove any dirt and grime, whatever's left, any lipstick, mascara, whatnot. Then I'll put this on before I board the plane so no one gets to see me without makeup as such. And I'll leave this to just really hydrate my skin. I want my skin to look flawless for when I land to see family or when I land to go to the hotel and to the new place. I don't want to have makeup on before, look all glamorous for the airport, but then um, it's kind of melted off and dried off and it's like not very beautiful um, when I land. So I'd rather just have a clean slate and just make my skin prepped for flawless makeup application. So when I've landed, um, before going to customs and immigration, you know, that passport line, I will again go to the bathroom, take, this, uh, take the repair mask off with this or wash my face and then use this extra um, 
pat myself dry and then I'll use what's in here. And I don't want to bring a face cream, eye cream, all that stuff. I'll just use this because this to me um, is an Estee Lauder the Advanced Night Repair. It's like a mini version and it's basically more of a serum. Um, it has like some antioxidants in it, but it just really smooths out my skin, hydrates it more, and it just kind of acts for a temporary like skin barrier. And then I'll put some SPF, put some eye drops if I need to. I have hand cream, I need a small one, so I just have my La Mer. And then I have like a little perfume, and this is just like a Chloe, Love Chloe one that I got from Sephora. And I'll just put a bit of perfume on it. That's all I carry as liquids. The main bulk of it is in here, which is in my... Um, makeup pouch and I like this because it's nylon and it doesn't get dirty so the infamous wispies I love these um, the Colgate wisp I get them in the spearmint flavor they're really really good just to brush your teeth or kind of freshen yourself up if you can carry a little mini mouthwash I suggest that then I have obviously um, I have the Sephora brush and mirror this obviously serves the purpose of combing through my hair and stuff um, oh, I also carry these on the plane because um, I kind of feel very sick when I go on the plane or I feel very, I don't know, I just don't feel, I kind of feel stressed, I kind of get a bit ill. So uh, when I'm drinking their Coke or their orange juice, it's great and everything, but their tea and their coffee I really hate. So I just ask for hot water and I'll put my own tea in and this is white orchid and I really, uh, orchid, <laughs> orchid, it's not a flower, um, and I really like this, it's kind of a melon, it's. I think it's like a melon tea and it's just something familiar it's just something soothing and something that I know does that make sense I feel like everything becomes very foreign on the airplane like I don't know so these just calm me down and I just take two just the one there and one back and then I have a foundation which is my new Dior powder a powder is suffice this is very good coverage so that's all I need and so when you have it on clean skin it won't all go crackly and all dry up your face you've moisturized you hadn't put foundation prior to the airplane ride this will just give you a flawless application then I'll take an eyeshadow and I'll just use my new Dior one too that I got because it has two colors in here um, they can easily be used on their own and the dark one can easily be used as a liner if I wanted to um, it's just very simple. I like to do very simple makeup when I land because I'm not trying to impress anyone. And then I have my Stila Topaz Eyeliner because this is a really great peachy color which will just brighten up your eyes. And um, it's the best one to look the most wide awake. I have my YSL Touche Eclat, obviously. And I have this in, I think, number eight. Is it number eight? Yeah, number eight. And this is just a great highlight color put underneath your eyes you know and just pat it in and this just awakens your eyes it brightens up the area it just looks like you're more refreshed you can put it down your nose you can put it as your brow highlight so it just like cleans up everything and just makes you look more wide awake in combo with the Stila Topaz and then I have of course a lip balm I just have the sugar plum fresh lip balm and I put that on in the airplane I try and apply it every few hours if I'm on a very long flight and then I have my brow wiz Anastasia for my eyebrows just because having your eyebrows all put together is really what makes your whole face I believe and then I'm um, just a mini sample of a black mascara I have an Estee Lauder one and then for lipstick I have this Bobbi Brown little palette I got free and it has the most beautiful colors that I can choose from and it's very light, very compact and really pigmented. So this will just look really good. And then finally in here I have um, a little eye uh, brush set which or face brush set or makeup brush set that I got recently in another haul. And this is the most perfect thing when I bought it, I thought about this, was that I can apply things much more smoothly if I need to. Um, uh, also, I bring a bronzer actually too, which I didn't add in here because that can um, be used as like a blush too. And then it has like a little pouch in here, and there I just have some blotting papers and my first aid kit just in case. So that is what I would take to the airport. I hope that really helped you um, get a feel for what I take or how I am at the airport. I hope that gave you a few ideas as to how to pack, especially if you want to pack very luxuriously, if you want to like. Um, if you want to go to the airport like Sparkle Miss A, this is what you do. So my next video will probably be what I pack in my suitcase in terms of toiletries. Do you want me to do one big video where it's toiletries and makeup or do you want me to do them separately? Um, 
up to you. Comment down below. So let me know if you like this and tell me if um, there's anything that I've missed that you guys include. Um, obviously, I would have a bottle of water from after I've um, passed security and whatnot. But other than that, I like, I like to keep it just to the necessities. But um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.